Hi guys, it's me, Shantae, and welcome back to Shake It Up with Shantae. I am here, yes, with another video. If you've been here before, welcome back, and thank you guys so, so much. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome to Shake It Up with Shantae. Today, I know y'all read the title, but today, look, listen, I'm getting down in this kitchen. I'm about to show you guys how I make my way oxtails, rice, gravy, cabbage, if you want to learn how to do this the really easy, simple, easy peasy way, stay tuned. Without further ado, let's shake something up. All right, you guys. First things, we're going to start off with these oxtails. Now, my oxtails, um, they're cleaned. They've been soaking in this vinegar solution water for probably about two hours. You don't have to let yours soak and clean that long, but I decided to let mine soak and clean that long and you also don't have to use vinegar that's just something that people do so as you can see oxtails are really greasy automatically naturally they're kind of greasy already so if you can look at the greasiness in the water you can kind of see that that's com that comes from the fat okay so first thing you're going to do is clean your oxtails whichever way however way you like to clean yours there's no wrong way there's no right way everybody clean their meat totally different so don't you don't have to go by me you don't have to go by anybody else however you clean your meat that's how you clean your meat there's no specific way all right so i'm gonna go ahead and rinse these with some cold water i'm gonna rinse them And that's good enough for me. All right, after you get your meat clean, let me show you what else I'm gonna be using. I got some cabbage here, some onions, some, really they're pretty much the same thing, green onions, some green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, jalapeno. I may use this and I may not, I don't know. I gotta taste it and see if it's hot because I don't like my food spicy to the point where I can't enjoy it because I'm not a spicy girl like that. I got some carrots for my cabbage. I'm gonna be using some salt, some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some basil leaves, some black peppers, a little bit of slap your mama if you haven't heard. Got it from Walmart. Some browning, some saison, the tropical kind, some minced garlic. I will be using some um, dark red kidney beans in my rice. I also have some Better Than Beauty yarn right here. So these are most of the stuff that I'm going to be using. I'm pretty sure I left something out like the rice, which is still up in the cabinet. So it's, it's rice, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vegetables to the sink and give them a really uh, a real quick wash because I hadn't washed them yet. So I'm going to wash this first. Just wash your vegetables off. I'm going to move my cabbage and I'm gonna get these cut up really quickly. y'all so i have this cut up this is going to be a seasoning for these are my bell peppers and my onions i'm going to put it in the blender and blend it this is going to be like the marinade i'm kind of creating for my oxtails now you can skip this step and you could just go on with your vegetables as you're going to see me saute them but i like to do this add them to a food processor or a blender i'm going to put a little water a little Worcestershire sauce That was about three tablespoons. I'm going to put a little water in here. Maybe about a half a cup of soap. And I'm going to blend it. Well, I'm going to pulse it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you want to, you can make yours, you can do yours the same way, but this is going to be like a marinade for 
my oxtail. I'm gonna let them sit in this seasoning right here. I'm gonna add some um, seasonings to this, some other seasonings. Let me wash my hand really quickly. All right, now I'm gonna add me some, slap your mama. You can put as much seasoning, whatever seasoning that you like, you can put it in there. I just like these and I'm showing you guys what I use. I shouldn't have did it. Let me get a towel. Let me put all the seasoning in here first before I go to mixing. Put a little Worcestershire. All right. Gonna put a little browning in here. When you use your browning, be careful with your browning. It's kind of strong. Put some salt. And some black pepper. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. All right, now I'm gonna mix this up. And I'm gonna let this soak and sit in here for a little while. Um, recommend 30 minutes. If you don't have 30 minutes, like I ain't got 30 minutes today, well, by the time I get through cutting up all my other stuff, like my cabbage, my onions, and get everything ready, it's probably 30 minutes. But if you don't have 30 minutes, you don't necessarily have to wait 30 minutes. I'm just saying. But um, in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, is, it goes. Or the longer, the better. The longer, the better. So there you have it. It's going to sit in this seasoning until I get ready to cook them however long that takes so if, like i said you don't have to let it sit if you don't have time you don't have to so i'm gonna move this out the way and cut up my cabbage i don't want to cut my cabbage up too big i like my cabbage for when i'm doing um oxtails and stuff like that i like my cabbage really fine i like to cut it up fine now, if it was any other day and I was cooking some cornbread and some pork chop, I'll kind of cut it up just a little, a tad bit bigger than this, but I like my cabbage to be thin when I'm doing this, when I'm eating this. For some reason, I don't know, y'all. It just, I don't know, make me feel like I'm really at a restaurant when I cut it up thin like this. I don't know if y'all feel that type of way, but I do. I haven't cooked um, oxtails in a long time, y'all, so. I just be so busy, honey, doing other stuff and wanna cook other stuff. I just don't be having time for oxtails. You know, oxtails, baby. Oxtails, uh, they take a little time, but I'm gonna try to simplify this as much as I can for y'all. I'm gonna try to simplify this thing, honey. Like I said, the part where you marinate and you stick it in the food processor you can skip that part and i'm going to show you what i mean when i get to that point of me cooking the oxtail i'll show you what i mean when i say you can skip that whole marinade part as long as you season your food very well you don't have to marinate and you don't have to let it sit overnight you know and marinate for three and four and five hours just season your stuff really good you know I, that's that's my recommendation this is just season it really, really good. But you know, some of us, we like to use that time as an excuse for other stuff, like take a, a smoke break or, which I don't smoke, but a smoke break or a TV break, honey, some on TV, and you just, oh, I'm let that marinate while I wash these couple of those clothes, clean up, you know, you can do that. We've all done that before. Use that marinade time. Let it sit in. But if you ain't got time, honey, you getting out work or you got other stuff to do, you ain't got to let it marinate, honey, for no hours, no 30 minutes. You just season that stuff right up and get to cooking. As long as you season it really, really good. These parts of the cabbage, I don't like. The thick white part, I don't like that. 
and I'm not going to cook the whole cabbage. I like to save me a little cabbage, y'all. I like to save like this right here. Sometimes, you know, you can season this. You can put you some olive oil in there, some lemon juice, wrap it up in foil, and put it in the oven or on the grill. Or I like to make coleslaw just for me, like a serving or two for me and my husband, just for some little coleslaw. So I don't use my whole cabbage all the time. Because I like cabbage to go. I don't like my cabbage to sit in the refrigerator for the next day like cabbage and collard because it stinks. So, to me it stinks. So, I like to, I don't like to use the whole thing. Whatever I cook, whenever I'm cooking cabbage, I like to cook enough. And hopefully we eat it all in one sitting within a whole day and it be gone. That's just me. Alright, I'm going to get my strainer and I'm going to rinse my cabbage I'm gonna rinse this off y'all really really good because it was kind of dirty I'm gonna start on my cabbage here Y'all see the leafy part, the green leafy part? I like that part of the cabbage. I like to use some of that. So if it's not damaged, please use some of that. I like that. So I won't throw all of my green part away. Now this right here, I'll, I'll toss that part. But I like to use the green part. You see that part? That's kind of bad. I won't be using that. I could have just peeled it off, but hey, I want to cut it off. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna cut up my cabbage here. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to sear my oxtails. I'm gonna put a little oil in my skillet. Just a little bit. Just enough to coat the bottom of the skillet. let that get hot and then these are my oxtails that has been marinating in the refrigerator for about well I did let mine marinate for about 30 minutes they did I ain't gonna lie they did marinate for about 30 minutes so I'm gonna let my oil get extremely hot and then I'm gonna pan sear these um, on each side for about two minutes each and then I'm gonna transfer them to my aluminum pan here so that I can prepare them to go in the oven. So let me let my skillet get hot really quickly. All right, y'all, my, my skillet is hot. It's super hot, y'all. I done let this thing got hot, hot. All right, so you're gonna place it in there just like that. You don't have to put no whole lot of them in there at one time. So you just want to stir it. And I got all different sizes. I got some small ones. Got some big ones. Some medium sized ones. So when you put it in there, y'all, let it sit so we can go ahead and get a little brown. You ain't got to move it. That's why I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. And that's just how I like to do mine. And it smells so, so good, you guys. I wish you could be here to smell it. But it smells so good. I'm excited about this dinner tonight, y'all. I am so excited about this. And look over here. I got my other vegetables already cut up over here to go on top. Now, this is a step when I say you can skip um, the marinade if you want to. Also, going back to that marinade, if you want to, um, the part about the marinade, if you don't want to put water and you want to put oil, you put all your vegetables in there and then you put your oil in there and then put it in the food processor, you can do that as well. But I choose not to do oil because I knew I was gonna pan through these and oxtails are already oily and greasy. 
Most of the time when you see people make an oxtail video, they have to scrape that oil out. It already has enough oil and I ain't got time to be spooning no oil off the top. I ain't got time for that. So I didn't use oil. I used a little bit of water and um, I, I blended my vegetables up and that's just what I did because it's making it a little easy for y'all, okay? All right. Now we're going to go ahead and turn these because I'm pretty sure they ready. Yep, look how crispy that is. That's how you want it. See there? You see that? That's how you want it to look. Like I said, you give it like two minutes on each side. You know, no longer than that. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing right here. So I got all these to finish. And... I'm going to let y'all see though, like I'm going to pan through this on, and then I'm going to place them over here in this in this pan once they sear all so I get them all done. Okay? All right. We'll be back. All nice and golden brown. Golden, golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All nice and golden brown. Put these right over here with they sisters and brothers. Line them all up in the pan good with they sisters and brothers, y'all. Mama, daddy, sisters and brothers, these can folks. Some of them look, some of them big. Honey, mama, daddy, sisters and brothers. It's a whole family. You got all sizes, honey. You might even got some grandma and granddaddies up in there, baby. All sizes. So over here, I got my oxtails in the pan right here. So now look, y'all see all this goodness over here. I'm gonna go ahead and empty the remainder of this. This is the marinade that I had. I'm gonna go ahead and empty it right on into there. I'm gonna get all of it out. Hold on, give me one second. Let me turn it down a little bit. Oh, it ain't even on. I had to turn it completely off. All right, so I'm gonna put that in now. All right, I'm gonna add me some bell pepper and me some more bell pepper and me some yellow bell pepper I'm just gonna let this cook I'm gonna make a broth with that I got me some better than bouillon season I'm gonna put me a Spoon full of that in there. You don't need much, just about that much. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right. I'm gonna let that cook up. This is gonna be my broth and this is the step where I was talking about, you guys. You can um, skip the marinade part. You just go straight to your straight to your um, seasoning right here. You can go straight to this, and you won't have to worry about doing a marinade. You just season it very well. Put some water. Go ahead and put your other seasoning. I'm gonna add me some Worcestershire. Okay, I can't tell you about how much. I'm gonna add me a little salt. Add how much you want to add. Add me a spoon of this mixed garlic. Add me a little black pepper. Y'all know I'm scared to put that uh, jalapeno in here. I am so scared to put that jalapeno pepper in here. Because I tell you, I cut up some, but honey, when I tell y'all I'm scared to put that in here, I'm so scared. But basically in this, you are going to put whatever seasoning you like. Whatever seasoning you like, that's what you're going to put in here. Can't nobody tell you nothing different about your sauce, your seasoning. You know, you put what you like. That's what you do. You put what you like. And this is what I like in mine. So this is what I'm going to put in it. Got some garlic powder, some onion powder. This just what I like in mine, honey. You can put whatever you want in yours. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of this saison in here. Saison. Let it come to a simmer, y'all. That's all you need. Let that come to a simmer. And then we're going to pour it on top of our oxtails. Yes, we are. This smells so good, y'all. We're going to pour that right on top of that. As soon as it comes to a simmer, we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Once it simmers, I'm going to pour it on top of there. Cover this in foil. My oven is already preheated on 350 degrees. In the oven for about two hours, it's going to go. Maybe two and a half. We'll give or take. We'll see. Meanwhile, I'm going to clean up my mess and get ready to start my cabbage. All right, y'all. This is done. My vegetables has gotten a little bit soft. Everything has simmered and married together. And I'm going to take this and pour it right on top of these oxtails. And oxtails, oxtails also make um, broth on its own. Ooh, this skillet is heavy. All right. So they typically make juice on their own, especially when you cover and you do it like this, which I'm going to cover this in for you. I don't have to add anything else to this. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water to my skillet and get all of that goodness out of there, baby. I ain't leaving nothing in there. I'm getting all of that out of there. All of that, just like so. All of that right in there. Okay. Y'all see how good that looks? Now, that was very simple. Like I said, if you want to skip the marination part, and putting it in a food processor and blending up the vegetables. You can skip that part and go straight to sauteing your vegetables in the skillet. Add you some water. Put all your seasonings in there. And, you know, you can go straight to this just like this. Doesn't that look so good? That looks so daggone good, y'all. Woo, that looks so good. Also, you can use whatever vegetables you want. If you want to put some sweet potatoes in there, yams or regular potatoes, carrots. If you want to put any of that in there, you can. It's your food. Oxtails can be made in so many ways. They can be cooked straight on top of the stove top in your Dutch oven, covered. You can put them in the oven. You can put them in the crock pot. There's no wrong way. I'm just showing you Shantae way. That's all, y'all. Like I said, my oven is already set on 350. I'm going to cover this very tightly in some heavy duty, heavy duty foil that's the thick foil i'm gonna cover this very tightly oven is ready 350 i'm gonna come back in two hours and show you guys how that looks all right you guys i'm back with my cast iron skillet again i've washed it out and i'm going to get ready to make my cabbage so i'm going to put a little bit of oil in my skillet because i like to start off frying my cabbage first so I'm going to do that, put a little oil in the skillet. And today, y'all, yes, I went straight from my oxtails all the way to my cabbage and using this one skillet. I ain't messing up all these dishes, honey. I'd rather, you know, wash and go, wash and go. So I got my oil in here. I'm going to let this get a little bit, of, little bit of hot. It don't have to get really, really hot, but I'm going to let it get hot. Here's my cabbage already washed and strained. There's no water in it. You want to get all the water out of your cabbage if you possibly can. Cabbage makes water. Cabbage makes hella water. So, uh, and I like to cook my green part of the cabbage first because this takes longer. So I like to cook this part first. I like to go in here and get the green out and cook that first because that's a little tougher than the white part. The white part is um, tender, but the green part is a little tough. So I like to cook that first for like two or three minutes. Let that fry first for like two or three minutes. And then I'll put the rest of my cabbage in there. All right, y'all. So my oil has gotten hot. So I'm going to take my green leafy part and some of the white parts get in there. That's okay. I 
I just like to put my green in there first. Let that fry real quickly. So when you let that fry real, quick, real quickly like that, it's going to get tender. All right? And then you can go ahead and put the rest of your cabbage in there. I'm going to let this cook a bit before I add my other stuff to it. I'm going to put my yellow peppers in there like that. I'm going to put a few carrots in here like so like that. Add me some green onions to this, just like that. Okay, that looks so good, y'all. I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes. Now, y'all know I didn't add that jalapeno pepper to my oxtail because I was scared, honey. I want it to be so hot that I couldn't eat it. I mean, don't get me wrong, these pepper flakes are a little spicy, but if you just put like a little bit, it's not as spicy. It's nowhere near as hot as a, um, a fresh jalapeno pepper. It's nowhere near. I also, you guys, got some fresh basil and parsley out of my garden. I'm going to add some um, basil to that. And I just clean it like I normally do. If y'all have seen my other videos, how I wash the uh, basil off once I get it out of my garden. How I wash it completely off, so. And it smells so good, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put that right in there, just like that. You give it a call. Now, when it comes to cabbages, you can season your cabbage and whatever it is that you like to season your cabbage with. If you just want to do some salt and pepper, by all means, do you just some salt and pepper or some seasoned salt or whatever it is you want to put in there. Just do that. This looks so good, y'all. I'm going to take this. I'm going to add me some um, garlic powder, of course. onion powder of course some salt of course you see how it's cooking down you start to wither on down with the wrong down. I'm going to turn this on low. Because I kind of got it on a medium high heat right now. So I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to go ahead and add me a smidge of vinegar. Okay, that's it. That was two capsules, y'all. That's it. That's because this is a lot of cabbage. It don't seem like it, but it's a lot of cabbage, y'all. And I'm gonna add me a little bit of water. This is probably like a half a cup. Like a half a cup. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of slap your mama. That, that was a lot bit of slap your mama. I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes because cabbage does not take long. I'm gonna cover it 
let it cook for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna start on my rice y'all it covers this just like that all right I'm getting ready to cook my rice you guys and I'm gonna be putting some of this I have my butter in here for my rice I'm gonna put some of this um saison tropical in here for my rice Gonna put a little salt, and that was butter. I'm gonna put just a tad bit of salt. I'm gonna put some onion powder. I'm gonna put my fresh parsley. I'm gonna mix this just like so. And this is for my rice. Oh my God, you guys, you got to smell that. I wish you could smell that. I'm gonna rinse my rice over here. I'm gonna rinse your rice. That's what I'm doing, rinsing my rice, or washing your rice, or whatever you wanna call it. Rinse, wash, hey. Rinsing it in my strainer right here. You probably can't see it, but it's a lot of starch coming off of this rice. Let the water drain off. I'm gonna let it just sit for a second so all the water can strain off of it. Come back over here. This is my pot that I have all my seasonings, my butter, everything in here for my rice. Let's take a sneak peek at this cabbage. Oh my God, you guys, look at that cabbage. Look at that cabbage. I can imagine how it tastes already. All right, so my rice is drained. Let me grab my rice. I'm gonna pull my rice straight in just like that. Ooh, y'all see that? Ooh, 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 y'all see that? Ooh, 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 look at that. Ooh, ooh. Now, if you don't want to season your rice and you just want your rice to be like some white rice, then don't do all these steps. Do like you normally do. Put your rice, your one cup of rice, your two cups of water, your little salt, and your butter. You just stick to that. But I wanted my rice to have a little flavor. So I incorporated my own infused flavor inside of my rice. You guys, you have to try this. And I'm only just getting that done till it's, you know, all mixed in there with your oil is. Now I'm gonna add me two cups of water and cover. Oh. And that's two cups. Add another half a cup. This looks like maybe it was more than the full rice. Y'all just got to eyeball this stuff. What you think? Yeah, I need a little bit more. You know when y'all be watching them Chinese people and they be cooking their rice and I tell and they tell you the water line and the rice supposed to meet at the line of your finger right there. It's supposed to stop. So I'm touching the rice. Y'all see that? I'm touching the rice and it comes to the line. Okay, that's, that's perfect. That's what they told me to do. Y'all know I've been doing that for a long time, and it works. Trust me, it works. All right, so I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 12 minutes, and we'll see. Okay, while my rice is cooking, I got my peas. These are the kidney beans that I'll be using inside of my rice. I'm going to wait till my rice get almost completely done, then I'm going to add these. But in the meantime, I don't like the broth. I'm going to go ahead and pour these in the strainer and give them a good rinse. See all of that stuff in there all right so I'm just gonna rinse these you can use whatever peas beans you like whatever kind you like that's the kind you use let them strain before I add them y'all see how yellow my rice is Ooh, they come from that seasoning 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add my beans to this. Give that a quick toss. more seasonings. I'm going to put just a tad bit more like a half a cup of water since I added the beans and then I'm going to let that cook down. Mmm. That looks so good you guys. Alright, let's look at my cabbage. My cabbage is fully done. Y'all already turned it off. My cabbage is completely done. All right a few more minutes all right you guys so it has been two and a half hours I've checked my oxtails once and that was about maybe 30 minutes ago so I still left them covered and I wanted to give them about 30 extra minutes so I know right now that my oxtails are done you guys watch this it is so amazing when you see this oh my god oh my goodness oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Let me stick that there. This oven. Guys, just wait till I take this off. Are you guys ready to see this? Are you guys ready to see this? Bam. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at them oxtails. Oh my goodness. Look at those oxtails, y'all. Mm. Look at that. Look at the bra. Look at the gravy that I'm going to put on my rice. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, mm -mm -mm. Louise, I can't wait to eat this. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get a fork so y'all can see how tender they are. Let me grab a fork. Oh my goodness, it's so hot, y'all. Ooh, look at that meat. Ooh, y'all gotta just taste a little bit of it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, y'all. Let me fix my plate real quick. Let me get some of these peas and rice, y'all. Mm, smells so good. Looks still hot. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at that. Let me move over here and get some of the cabbage. Let me get some of the cabbage over here. You know, you got to start speaking in different, you know, have different accents when you start fixing this type of food. Yeah. Gotta get you a different accent, honey. You feel me? Oh, look at that. Look at that. And yeah, let me go over here with the oxtails and give me some of these tails and give me some of these tail bones. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. That's a granddaddy. Mm. And a grandmama. Mm. Oxtail. Get one of the little children. <laughs> get one of the little children. Get a couple of the little children. Okay. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. You have you some oxtails here. You have you some peas and rice. And you got you some cabbage, hunty. Some cat. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gotta get some gravy for the rice. Mm -hmm. Look at all that gravy, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at that gravy. Ooh, look at that. Put some of that on that rice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, y'all. Look at that. Look, y'all. Look at him. I done put me some gravy 
on my rice. Y'all see that? I got some gravy on the rice. Look at the oxtails. Oh my goodness. Look at the cabbage, y'all. Let me just eat a little bit of this. Mmm. 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 Y'all know husband? He waiting on these oxtails. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all, I'm gonna try my best not to eat all this. Which I'm not gonna eat all this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Y'all know something else too. I'm glad I didn't put that pepper in here. Because, see, it would have been too hot. The slap your mama got a little bit of kick to it. And then I used the um, pepper flakes, the chili pepper flakes. Now, they're a little bit honey. Had I put that jalapeno pepper in here, and let me tell y'all something. I ain't even. I don't even know why I um, grew, but we planted um, some cayenne pepper. I won't be doing it. I ain't no friend of, I ain't no fan of spicy stuff, so... Not spicy like that, but a little bit I can handle that. But mm. if y'all ain't never made rice like this before, oxtails like this before, y'all better make y'all some. Mm. Oxtail your frog bone. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Real simple, really easy recipe, y'all. Mmm, that's my mmm, mmm, I'm gonna get it. I cleaned that, y'all. Mmm, I cleaned that, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all, mmm, y'all know. I got to go, honey. Look, listen, if y'all enjoyed this video, these oxtails, you know, you got to speak in a different tone when you be, these oxtails, these rice and peas, and these cabbages, hunty. If y'all have not had this before, Shantae Way, you better make you some, you better make you some of this, honey, and when you do, please let me know. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, if you have really enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please, please like the video. Subscribe if you have not done so. Share the video. You're more than welcome to. It's free. Invite your friends and your family and tell them to come on over to Shake It Up with Shantae because she's shaking things up over here. Very, very simple and easy and peasy, okay? If y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. Until my next video, I'll see you then. I got to enjoy this right here. Mm, 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 mm. Bye, y'all.